Hi ladies, this is Kalua with Collusion Health and Harmony and I'm coming at you on location from Iudraspera Yoga in Raleigh, North Carolina. Beautiful studio behind me, you should check it out. So I am here today to talk about really feeling your emotions. This is something that's been coming up quite a bit in my circles and in my personal life. And so it's, it's a topic that seems to keep resurfacing. So I thought, well, let's have it out. And, you know, I find that people, well, of course I feel my emotions, duh. But what I've noticed is, you know, we're so in this um, place of Let's be positive and that universal law of attraction, you know, what we put out into the world is what we get back. So if you're feeling negative thoughts and all this stuff, then that's what you're going to get back is all this negative, right? And so be grateful and have your gratitude so that you will draw in that positive stuff, which is fantastic. Of course, that's what we want to be. In doing that, though, sometimes what we've done is we're totally ignoring those darker emotions just to get straight over to those positive ones so that you know the darker ones don't bring us down and this is where there's been a lot of conversation in my circle of friends how do you feel about that what do you think about that should we just ignore the dark side of the moon and never touch it or do we need to actually go through that place in order to get back over to the positive side you know um in, in, in uh, Chinese philosophy, philosophy, there's yin and yang. And, you know, there's the light and the dark and the good and the bad. And without one, how do you know the other, right? And so this is where it starts to, to kind of blur a little bit. Yes, it's great to be happy and positive, but not at the expense of truly feeling your feelings. Your feelings are there for a reason. You feel. And, you know, from a very young age, we're taught that, you know, emotions like anger and fear, jealousy, resentment, any of that stuff is negative and don't feel that way. But sometimes there's a very good reason we do feel that way. And we need to process that first in order to get over to the positive. So, you know, that's how we pull ourselves back out of it with that gratitude and okay this is not how it always is but sometimes we just need to really allow ourselves to feel that and what happens if you don't feel it if you just sort of glaze over it and okay i'm gonna be positive now what happens is it pretty much just sits in your body right emotions get trapped in your body just like everything else and that's why sometimes um you might see somebody start to move in a certain way and all of a sudden tears come out of them. That's trapped emotions. And as somebody who's done holistic fitness for a very long time, this is where I really see it come out for people. You know, sometimes when you move your hips, suddenly there's this huge release of tears. Maybe there was a, a trauma in the past, you know, especially in the hips, it could have been an abuse or a sexual assault, you know, sometimes those emotions get held there. It, sometimes it's just too hard to, you know, feel them all at once. And so as a, a coping mechanism, we store them, right? We don't feel them all at once, but it doesn't mean they go away. It means they just get trapped. And then that starts to create that block. So, you know, things in your life, when they start to feel blocked, it's because we're blocking with those emotions. So, you know, what I like to do and what I do when I do workshops or in, in the Crave coaching method, I do targeted movement. We use the different parts of our body to move certain energy areas to unblock all of that stuff, to get it moving, to figure out, okay, what is it that's actually really in there? Sometimes it could be a memory or an experience or something that's from childhood. It was so long ago, there's no possible way you would even consciously expect it to be there. And yet it is once you open that up and you find it. So what I want you to take away from this is 
Don't be afraid to walk on the dark side of the moon. Allow yourself to be there. Allow yourself to feel those emotions, to go through them in a very healthy way. Now, I don't mean, you know, go out and, you know, give everybody the finger in traffic. That's not an, a healthy expression of it, right? We want to once again strike that balance, right? Go to your safe place. Go to, um, you know, somewhere that's that feels secure and, and non-judgmental for you and express it. Maybe if you want to share it with another person and just, you know, hey, I'm here to vent. I don't need advice. I just need to release. Or in my case, right, I move. I turn on some music and I shake it out, right? Get it moving out of the body. You don't even have to think about it that way. And allow it. Allow yourself to feel it. Allow it to be there. It's a part of you. And then thank it. Thank it for showing you your full realm of capabilities and emotions and feelings and then release it, let it go. And then gratitude for what you've learned from it, what you've taken from it. And then you can move back over into that positive side. So don't sacrifice the dark side of the moon for the light side is um, really, we just want to make sure we're feeling it all. So what do you think? Are there any um, are there any incidences in your life that you can think of where you kind of glazed over the dark side of the moon? You didn't even want to acknowledge it. You just went straight over to that positive. I'll be okay. It's fine. Blow it off. Brush it off. Everything's good. And then maybe didn't allow yourself to feel the negative emotions, right? The the anger or the the hurt or betrayal or jealousy or any of those because you know what they're all there for you to help you grow so i would love to hear what you think about it any um experiences you've had go ahead and throw in a comment or obviously if it's really personal send me a message if you'd like i'd love to hear from you so um i hope you are very well i hope you're feeling all those amazing emotions and keeping them in harmony have an amazing day bye